Hi guys, it's Simply Amazing. I am back on the Minecraft Buddy server. I don't think I mentioned this last time, but this is not the real Mr. Duty. It's just the NPC with his skin on to welcome players when they first log on. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys around the server and showing you all the different warps and how to use them. Over here on the right is the server's warp towers and you can see them in various places to show you how to get different places. If you don't know what a warp is, it's a command that helps you get to set places, like set places that the admin have. So I'm gonna go over here and show you real quick and then we'll check a few of them out. Um, see, warp tower, the W warp. Okay, so there's the PVP world. That's where you go, I'm guessing to, you know, fight. I'll probably stay away from that for the most part. You guys know I'm horrible at PvP. There's the mini games. Um, there's some really cool ones, so I'm gonna go check that one out in a second. There's spawn, warp spawn. Um, you can do warp spawn, but you can also do the, just the spawn command to always get back to that little spot over there. There's the market. Uh, that's where you can uh, buy things. I think there's only one store set up, but I'll still show you guys. Um, their free city of Newtown where you can get a area available to build your house if you don't want to live out in the wild. There's creative. Um, everyone loves playing in creative. That's where you can go and do that. There is a separate inventory plugin, so you don't have to worry about any of your things getting mixed up. There's the quest. This one I'm really excited about. I checked that out the other day. I didn't do a quest, but I'm thinking about attempting one, maybe even recording it because that looks like a really fun thing. All right, so let's go and check out the PVP world real quick. All you need to do is right click the sign and it takes you there. And see, like I said, warp sign, warp tower, sorry. Uh, so this is the warp tower. They also have, um, portals linked to different worlds this would take you back to spawn spawn is called the resort but so there's no one here so I'm not gonna get attacked by anyone wanting to play PvP but I just wanted to show you guys the area real quick I'm gonna go back over here to the warp tower and the mini games this is where you are in the mini games. Now, I didn't find another warp tower here but right when you get here there are warp signs to get you back to where you were or where you want to go. Inside here on this wall is where you click to join any of the mini games. So they have the fall, that's a one player game, capture the flag, you need at least two players, the spleef arena, deathmatch, uh, the level eight level maze. I love doing mazes. I try to do them all the time. I want to try this, but I'm kind of scared. Eight levels sounds really hard, but I think I might try that one out. Um, and then there's the fall. I'm not sure what that is, but that's a one-player game. So let's just save real quick. Climb the ladder. Oh, no. Is that really what I have to do? <gasps> okay, I get it. You see there's that the little... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ah, don't let me die. I died. So I quit a mini game and this is where it shoots you back out. So I am going to just show you guys real quick how to do the warps from command. You just type warp in there with the, uh, the slash, the forward slash, and it's going to give you all of the warps that are available to you. So we haven't checked out the new town. Is that the next one? No, I think the next one is going to be market. So we just go warp, market, and it takes us, oh, I heard a spider. Don't worry, okay, I have, um, I, I, I've been busy. I have, let me figure out the right button. I have iron armor now, so I'm not too scared. Um, so yeah, like I said, but this was the, uh, the market where you can buy things. Right now, there's only Mr. Duty's box of wood for sale, but that's a good price. So if you're down on wood and you don't want to go chopping any, you know where to go. And this is level two, but I don't think anything else is for sale, but I don't want to say there's nothing else without showing you guys. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's just that. Okay, so let's go to, I think this is actually in the new town 
but I'll just show you since we're showing the warts. So this is where you can get a place to live. He goes, if you've been here for a while, you may be eligible to work in this town. There's jobs, farmer, hunter, and miner. Farmers use the public farms to produce food for the town market. For information on the other jobs, speak to it or ask an admin. On this side, um, welcome to Newtown. This town was made to provide new players with a home and also to provide free facilities. Free is always good. If you would like a house, ask for mod admin's attention and let them know you'd like a house here. They'll come right away and help you claim your house. So it's absolutely free, no, um, no strings attached. So this is Newtown. If you guys can sign up, I'll tell you guys about that in a little bit. I know for a fact that Urge and Traven are NPCs. They are not real people. They scared me like crazy the other day. I'm like, I thought I was the only one on the server and I saw these guys running around. But they, I think they kind of keep the town mostly free of mobs. Although I do see a um, zombie over there and I hear, yeah, okay. I actually think this might be the real Mr. Duty hold. Oh my goodness, hopefully that guy's saving me. Oh look, there's something sell, fresh from the farm. So food is for sale here. You can buy apples and you can buy melon. I'm actually going to buy some melon. Oh, yeah. So I bought two melons. So I'm going to start up a melon farm back at my place. So, yeah, I think this is the real Mr. Duty. I didn't see him standing. I don't think he would have two NPC characters of himself holding a purple wool. So say hi. Um, let's go to creative next. We're going to warp creative yeah he just jumped up and down I'm pretty sure that was him okay so this is the creative world you see my inventory's changed I have a, a gold block from earlier and there's our warp tower again look at all these cool things that people have built I love building statues I'm not that great at it but <laughs> I still like doing it anyways oh look at this one is cute the enderman what does he have what is he sitting on a chair I don't know is that a cake I don't know that's cute though so, if you're on the server and you want to get to creative, like I said, you can use the warp tower or you can use the warp command, and this is where it'll take you. So we'll go back to the warp tower. The last warp that I'm super excited about is the quest. Um, first of all, I just want to say this is a gorgeous building. I want to know who built it. I'll probably ask, and I'll let you guys know later, because somebody on here is really good. All of these players are not real. This is where we go in and you type quest and I don't know if it'll do like if I do quest story and it goes if I do quest story start yeah look it does this cool lightning thing and then it gives you you have now started the story quest these quests must be completed in order and can't be completed more than once. And it's going to give me like a, as you complete more and more quests or just more, yeah, that's what it should be. They will get harder. To complete these quests, you will have to travel the world and complete many tasks. Are you ready to start your adventure? See, that doesn't that just sound so exciting? <laughs> uh, interactive event triggered. When you see interactive event, it means you're interacting with someone. When you see this, type in the chat. And it went away or perform a required action in this case you were asked a question type yes or no in the chat and for now I'm going to say no and he says that's fine come back later hopefully I get a chance to do that so guys I'm gonna go back home and show you guys one more time you just do warps and it gives you all the warps that are available to you so that when you're on the Minecraft Buddy server, you can easily get around without having to look for things. And if you forget the command, don't forget there are always the purple towers with the warps signs right there available for you. So if you guys are interested in signing up for the Minecraft Buddy site, all you need to go to is minecraftbuddy.com. And as always, I will put the link in the description. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.